good save. Is it the gritty on us? He's gritty dancing on us. There's genuinely a row of people on the phones. Jaden! Club football returns. Yorkshire takes on Swansea. Tigers take on the Swans as two teams with incredible talent take each other on in one of the longest away games of the season. Today will be action-packed, end-to-end and certainly a fantastic game. But can the Tigers get the three points and push themselves into the top six? Yes, today is massive as Hull City take on Swansea City in the 17th round of the most exciting, hectic and most competitive league in the world, the EFL Championship. Now there's no beating around the bush, today is going to be an extremely difficult game on paper. Let's throw those statistics out the window. The truth is we all dwell on statistics, looking at the last games. Yes, we've only won one in the last seven here at Swansea, but what determines the game is 90 minutes of football, 11 v 11, and anything can happen in the championship. So we don't need to dwell on that. I'm feeling very, very confident today. We've got some fantastic players. We've got three England under 21s internationals, and we're in a fantastic run of form with one of the best managers I've seen at City for years. So let's stay positive. The last competitive fixture ended in a 1-1 draw, but it was a reverse fixture that's got people talking. 12 p.m. kickoff at Swansea, 3-0 defeat. Still gives me nightmares. Today, we're at the Swansea.com stadium. It was a seven hour drive up to Swansea. We're staying in a hotel room. I'll tell you what, it's just beautiful. It really is. The city, the culture, I love this place. Let's get down to the stadium. It's about a 20 minute drive. We'll get there for our four, maybe get some interviews, get some food and watch the Tigers. Up them Tigers. Right then, let's get going into Swansea. You looking forward to it game, Dad? Hey. You looking forward to it game? Should be a good one. Out we go. We've got a Caribbean crush. I haven't seen these for years. I don't know if they're looking at wrong shops. I can't seem to find them in England. Hello. That's Dad. Swansea Marina. What a beautiful place. It's a bit tall. Well, that wasn't a far drive, was it, though? Oh, the quality. It's a really nice stadium as well. We had a look around it yesterday. Really nice people. Genuinely a lovely stadium. Grandma, what's your score prediction? Oh, I think it might be 1-1 one, one today. The draw. Right, fair enough. Then, All right, Grandad, what's your score prediction? 1-1. One, one. Oh, same as Grandma. <laughs> Not very optimistic then. <laughs> Off we go. Right then. Oh, let's squeeze that. Perfect. Let's have a look at the pitch. That's sick. Nice ground. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome. We're here at the Swansea.com stadium. Before we talk about the game or the ground, I think I should mention the stewards, how nice they are. I said it last year, just so helpful. My dad's not very well, and everybody there helping him get to places. Genuinely, the nicest stewards I've ever met and the nicest people I've met. The last three days I've been staying in Swansea and everybody's just so down to earth, so friendly, it's brilliant. Now on to the lineups. If you can find a way to fit Regan Slater into that team, that's the best possible team we could field out. Genuinely, Oza, Twine, Liam Delap, Tyler Morse and Jada Philogene all in one squad. If you thought three years ago that we'd have even one of those players in the team, You'd be in Dreamland. Genuinely, it's such a good team we've got. I'm so excited to see this for the rest of the season. But without further ado, is your lineup to take on Swansea City. In goal, Ryan Alsop. Today's right back and captain, Louis Coyle. Two centre backs are Alfie Jones and Sean McLaughlin. Left back, Jacob Grease. The three in midfield is Ozan Tufan, Tyler Morton, and Jean Michel Seri. And up front, Scott Twine, Jaden Philogene, and Liam Delap. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know a lot about this Swansea side. But there's three players, in my opinion, we need to look out for. Starting off with Charlie Patino, honestly, one of the best players, in my opinion, under 21s, midfielders in the championship. Other player, I would say, is probably Jerry Apes. At the end of the day, he was fantastic for Blackpool. And I can see him going on to have a fantastic season this year. I do find it strange that Charlie Patino's on the bench, though. For me, he's one of the best under 21s in the championship. Would it be something to do with the red card he got a couple of weeks ago? I don't know, but if he was in our squad, I'd want him starting every game. Right then, Lewis, how are you, mate? Yeah, I'm right. That's good. Right, score predictions, mate. 
Who's getting the goals? Um, oh, I like that. What's your score predictions, mate? 2-0 City. <laughs> Up the Tigers. Go, Jane. <laughs> We're joined with the mother, how are you? I'm both of you. Fantastic. What's your score predictions? 2-1 to Hulls. Very optimistic. Who's getting the goals? Charlie Patina first Swansea. Right, yeah. Um, no idea for Hull. What would like Charlie to score? She knows the Swansea players. <laughs> well, there we have it then. Hull City take on Swansea City. Some atmosphere. And it will be Ozan Tufan to take. We're shooting towards the atmosphere in the second half, which will help, hopefully. Off we go! Shoot! Whoa! He's good as that home freeze. Oh. Yeah! Genuinely, there hasn't been a lot in this game, that's the truth. But they take one opportunity for the first shot they've had, for the first shot in the game, and they take it like that. Fair enough, there's not a lot you can say. Very even game. On a more positive 14 hour round trip, this is a very good atmosphere. It's brilliant to see, it really is. Really passionate fans. Seems like a coffee out. We're going cold. Oh, don't do this. We've got the ball. No. Good save. Two. Ah, oh, man. Is it the gritty on us? He's gritty dancing on us. I think I might spend the next 70 minutes locating the guy with the drone. We'll play a game. Because this is so far. So, so far. Off we go again. Oh, this genuinely could be three. Oh, please no. Oh, blooming heck. Oh, please no. Uh, I spy with my little eye something beginning with J. Well, in Shaw. Sure. Please and thank you. Oh. We got a shot. We got a shot. We got a shot. Oh, go on, Jacob. Oh. I'll be honest. The only bit of positivity at the moment is Jaden Villagey. How's he playing for Old City? Jaden, how's he playing in the Championship? Even if he was playing for someone like Leeds, you think how's he playing at this level? He's quality. Oh. Ah. There's genuinely a row of people on the phones, some playing Candy Crush, some having a natter. It's part of this. Oh. 45th minute, five minutes has been added on. Can you just make it one or two so we can go for a drink and something to eat? Go on. Shoot, please. Please. Exact same thing happened last year when we played him. How has he come out of that? Oh, that's half time. One minute. Half time then. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you, you take the first 15, 20 minutes out of the game, we've been all right. We're switching it very well to Louis Kyle. We are taking the defenders on, and it just goes straight back to the halfway line. I don't think it's an awful performance, but when you go 2-0 down, there's not a lot you can do. You just know Liam Racine will be digging into him at half-time. But is there a chance of a comeback? There is always a chance of a comeback. But will it be today? I don't know. I think Twine's had a decent game. I think... In terms of substitution wise, maybe bring Ozan Serio. I don't know. We've got some good players on the bench. We've got Aaron Connolly. We've got Jason Lakilo coming back. We can definitely push for something here, but he's ringing his mum, asking whether she can pick him up. <laughs> oh dear me. No sign of Aaron Connolly warming up. 
Is he injured or is he coming on? I'd genuinely throw anybody on. I just want to see a few players play. Give Andy Smith his all city debut, why not? We've completely switched everything up in the second half. Jason Lakeela comes on, Cyrus Christie comes on, Sean McLaughlin comes on. And so does Ozan Tufa. Presume we'll be switching formations. Oh, oh please, Jaden! Yes! Come on! Come on! Get in! Come on! Get in Who else but Jaden Thilogene? Genuinely, he's incredible. You just have to treasure every game with him. What a finish. I've gone ballistic there. And we're still losing. We need to keep grounded. But we have now got how long? 43 minutes to get a comeback. Woo! Oh, Jaden, mate. It's just so good. Oh, go on. Ah. Oh, Philogene. <laughs> Please. Oh! 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 No! Woman offside, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, very David Attenborough like. <laughs> that fills me with a lot of hope going into this last 30 minutes. I don't think a lot of people thought this comeback would have been possible. It hasn't been completed yet. In fact, we're not even one third through it. Well, we can do it, we know we can. He's a good keeper. Go on, Jason. Oh! Oh, Phil and Jean. Oh! Oh! done this by <laughs> Let's go for another one! Tyler Morton, baby! Tyler Morton, what? Oh, imagine. Imagine. Oh, Liam's all out. Liam's all out. Go on. Oh, go on. Oh, lay up, lay up. <laughs> There's still 20 minutes. Come on. Every time he's on the ball, you just wonder what's going to happen. Them half time substitutions have changed the game. Christy comes on, two assists. It's genuinely mental. <laughs> Come on! Machilo's been sensational as well. And the Swansea, although we're trying to get the win, let's just say Harry Darling, when he came on, he's looking phenomenal. Number six. Really, really good. Well. He meets the Tigers again. Liam Walsh comes on. Came on low like two years ago, played three games, I think. Oh, go on, Liam. Oh, there's no one up. No one up with him. Surely a book in that. About the 800th time I've said this. One of these times, Scott Twine's going to score a free kick, and I think it's going to be now. Will he cross it? Is it possible? Well, we've seen from Ronaldo, anything's possible with a free kick. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Go on, please. Go on! Martin! Martin! Oh! To Jaden! To Jaden! Substitution for all. Liam Delap comes off. Aaron Connolly comes on. Fantastic. Now, one thing I have noticed, and it's not really what you want to be talking about while you're trying to get the win here, but Swansea defenders are giving absolutely everything. Like, when a ball loops over them, they're putting everything to try and get the ball. 
you know, jumping, diving, karate kicks. It's quality to watch. But unfortunately, it's stopping us from getting a goal. Ah. Single person has left this away end. There's a feeling in the air that another goal's coming. Right, three minutes, it's possible. You'd have thought we'd had in five in the first half. Could be a more, but there's a chance. No, not all. Side. You know what? Um, so buzzing with the point here. Oh! I feel sick to my stomach. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Oh! <laughs> ah, there it is! What a game! You know, you take that every day of the week. Full time, 2-2. Two, two. I'll see you outside. <laughs> Massive shout out to these legends and the dad. Really nice to meet you all. Well, well, well. Full time, Hull City 2, Swansea City 2. And despite only coming out of that game with one point, that felt like three points to us Hull City fans. Now the phrase goes, never fall in love with a lone player, but Tyler Morton is just absolutely incredible. And it's painful because we know he's a Liverpool lad at heart. And, you know, unless we get promoted, I don't think we'll see him again in a whole shirt. And that is genuinely so upsetting. Same with Liam Delap, same with Jaden Philogy. We've just got so many good players playing for the badge. And I'll tell you something, if Jaden Philogene hadn't scored, I don't think we'd be anywhere. That game could have been 4 or 5 nil because his goal put momentum to Hull City's shoulders, got the fans going, got the atmosphere up. And I'll tell you something, he has a special, special talent. The stewards at Swansea are genuinely the best. I mean, it's so helpful, helping with everything, so down to earth, having chats with fans. Genuinely, the people I've met in Swansea are the nicest people I've met. Same goes with the fans. The fans were incredible, full voice, atmospheric. The corner next to us was so loud. It was really just a fantastic ground, a fantastic fan. And I wish you all the very best for the rest of the season. I, uh, I don't know whether the playoffs is possible. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and turn on notifications. It would genuinely mean absolutely everything. It's been a true pleasure taking you down to Swansea. Up to Swansea, down to... Mum! Down to Swansea to watch Hull City get the comeback over Swansea City. The next video will be on Tuesday. I think we're off to Harrogate versus Wrexham, but I'm not totally sure. I'm really looking forward to that, if that is. I mean, Wrexham fans are fantastic, and I've never been to Harrogate, so that'll be a new ground tick. Thank you. All the very best. Up the Tigers.